did I put that deal memo? Uh, oh shoot, maybe it's over here. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's not good. Hello filmmakers, Ash here and welcome to Film It Yourself. A production binder helps you stay organized during and after your shoot. Plus, it keeps all of those pesky documents and contracts in one place. So let's go over what a production binder is and most importantly, what's inside them. A production binder is a binder that all your key players, such as your director, producer, and assistant director have a copy of on set. And it contains things like copies of the call sheet, storyboard, script, shot list, and anything else a key player might need. Having copies of these help ensure that everyone is on the same page and know exactly what shot you're on when shooting. So if anybody wants to see a storyboard or needs a copy of the script or wants to see a schedule, Rob has copies of all those if you want to see it and get like a clearer picture of what we're doing. Also, production binders can be a little different for each crew member. For example, the director won't need things like personal releases and deal memos, but they definitely need copies of the storyboard and script. So feel free to cater each binder to the needs of that specific crew member. Setting up your production binder is really based on your personal preference, but here are some steps that I've found that work best on my shoots. First, get a binder. If you're doing a short film, a one inch binder will work just fine. Second, get dividers or tabs so you can clearly see each section. This will help you quickly and efficiently access documents you might need while on set. The first page of your production binder should have the call sheet for that day. This way, all the main important info for the shoot is readily accessible. Next, I like to place a copy of the schedule so that everyone can be on the same page. No pun intended. Then I usually like to place a copy of the storyboard and or shot list. Again, this is helpful so that every key crew member has a visual representation for the shot. Next is a copy of the script. And if you've done a line script ahead of time, then I would recommend including that version of the script. This is especially useful for directors on set so they can clearly see if they are missing any important coverage. These are pretty much all the elements a director will need in their binder, but your producer and assistant director will need a little more. For them, I recommend including sections for each of the talent. There, they can include personal releases, SAG contracts, or any other paperwork that the talent might have signed. Next, I recommend having a section for your permit if you have one. And finally, in the very back of the binder, I recommend having a section for extra documents. This is where the producer or assistant director can have extra blank forms just in case one is needed on set. You can also include other things in your production binder, such as equipment lists, talent headshots, budgets, receipts, and so on. However, you might also want to just have a master production binder for these assets so you can keep your one on set light and easy to use. Either way, feel free to customize your production binder to what works best for you. And if you're in need of documents to fill your binder with, you can get access to my filmmaking templates by supporting me on Patreon for the cost of a bag of dog treats. And I haven't told Spence this, but at the rate he consumes these bad boys, we'll be out in a few days. So we really need some more. You can find a link to my Patreon account in the description below and feed a puppy. There, all better. Mm.